We're in Naples today. It's 10 in the morning on a lovely spring day and the endurance race dedicated to the 50th anniversary of Suzuki Marine is about to begin. President, may I ask you a few questions? What language do you prefer? English? Italian? Japanese? If possible, Japanese. I'm not very fluent. All right. Italian? Yes, OK. This is a nice event, dedicated to the 50th anniversary of Suzuki Marine. How are we to celebrate? In many ways, and also with an endurance race. Yes, it is my pleasure to see so many people working with us. This feeling of working together with everyone here brings me great pleasure. Mm. Yes, in fact, I have interviewed many journalists and many people who are curious to try this experience. We're talking about 50 hours of navigating. Yes, to celebrate 50 years, we'll do 50 hours, 50 people, 50 horsepower and and lots of rain. Yes, hopefully not 50 hours of that. No, let's hope not. <laughs> Paolo, how much time before start off? Uh, about two minutes now, we're ready. The weather is ideal today. Yes, of course, the weather has definitely come to give blessings, we'll say. Of course, being an endurance race, we hope that the water stays calm. But, as they say, the rain brings good luck. Yes, it will be even more challenging because the sea is a bit choppy, right? Yes, especially since the forecast of today is for sea conditions that are less favourable on an occasion like this. However, we'll ignore it because we must start today, 50 hours without interruption. Hopefully, the weather will clear up soon. Here is the itinerary of the race. It starts in Naples, then goes towards Posilipo, then Cape Messino, then it passes north of Procida and circumnavigates the island of Ischia before returning back to Naples. That's the programme, but due to weather conditions, we might not be able to keep to it. During the course of the race, the crew alternates. Here comes the first of them. So how did it go? Good, sea conditions weren't great, there were waves measuring two, two and a half meters. We reached Procida, went around Procida, then we came back with the sea at the stern, still coming from southwest, pushing us forward, and so it was easy sailing from there. The first day of the Suzuki Endurance Race draws to a close. Night has fallen and today none of the pilots have backed down. Today's the second day of the endurance race, celebrating Suzuki's 50th anniversary. We've just passed the 24-hour mark of the race, of continuous navigation. The crews will swap again today every two hours or so, and we're only halfway through the challenge.
7.15 p.m. We're at the 33rd hour of the race. This is the 50 horsepower Suzuki engine. This is the same block that is used also for the 40 and 60 horsepower engines. This engine is technologically advanced. Like many others, it's an inline four engine with four valves per cylinder. Like very few, but it has double overhead camshaft and is the only one with this feature. Not only that, the distribution is driven by an oiled belt that does not need any maintenance. And this is also a unique feature of this engine. We're at Cape Misano, the last strip of land attached to the continent. Then we'll head towards the islands of Procida and Ischia. It's beautiful to navigate while the sun sets on the water. It's a wonderful feeling. And look at that view. It's lovely to see the sea as it's tinted by the setting sun. It seems golden. To me, the 24-hour endurance race of Rouen already seemed like a lot, and for the 24 hours of Le Mans. But 50 hours in the middle of the sea with a small power boat on these waves, wow! The schedule is organized in shifts, many crews that rotate each shift lasting two hours because the engine must not ever stop running. But we do, we stop for meals and to rest. Why is it stressful on the machinery to use an engine for 50 hours straight? Well, to begin with, the conditions at sea are not at all easy. With each wave, the boat accelerates and decelerates, and this is a huge problem for the pilot. But also because it's 50 hours. And believe me, it doesn't happen every day that the engine is kept running for 50 hours. The heat generated by the engine spreads slowly to all the other components, its organs, if you will, and continues to get hotter and hotter. Unless the motor is made well and temperatures in each part of the engine are kept under control, not only the mechanical parts, the electronics too. In short, the longer the engine is used, the more heat will be generated and spread to all the other components. And in the end, if it endures for 50 hours, well, we can anyway consider it a great test of endurance, or at least make it a record. Do you know of anyone else who navigated for 50 consecutive hours on a 5-metre powerboat on choppy sea? I've made a slight change in my direction. I want to see Procida up close. Night has fallen. Navigating in the dark is a wonderful feeling. It's impressive, but we must be very careful because there might be something in the water that you cannot see. It's always better to have a headlight pointed on the coast to illuminate the path that lies ahead. I'm coming back to base now for the change in shift, and I wanted to pass close to the Caratiolo seafront of Naples. It's always breathtaking. We've reached the third day of the Suzuki endurance race, and we are about to enter the 48th hour. This is the new crew that is doing the last lap around the island of Ischia.
planeta sono 6000 giri Full throttle we're at 6000 rpm have you regulated the trim I'll do it now now give it the trim here we go hey we're in cavitation 29 knots there's only 15 minutes left Beppe we'll make it Finish line, Beppe, we did it. A success, a victory for a boat, for an engine, and for the crew, whose many pilots did not give up until the end, even in spite of the terrible weather conditions. A challenge defeated by the vehicle, the engine, but also the people who fought with the sea, with the weather, and with the wind, the rain, and in the end, who won? Navigating for 50 consecutive hours, the Suzuki engine never turned off once. It endured every effort. But remember that nature, boats and even engines are always stronger than us, so when we go to sea, we must be careful. And now we can turn off the engine. competition held between the pilots regarding fuel consumption has been cancelled due to varying sea conditions. But here are the most important facts. Within the 50 hours, 700 miles were travelled at an average speed of 14 knots and 350 litres of fuel were consumed, which is equal to 2 miles per litre. An excellent result.